Sam Rowan with Pony Pride here with SMU starting center Taylor Lusecki. And Taylor, you're entering the final week of spring practices. How do you think things have been going for the offensive line? Oh, that's good. I think we've uh, progressed well. Um, a lot of the younger guys have uh, really started to get some of the uh, assignment stuff down and, been, and coming with that uh, comes physicality and stuff too. So I feel like each week, each week we've progressed. Um, there have been some days where we've, we've regressed, obviously, but I feel like in general, overall, um, it's been uh, – progress every week so you know you bring up the young guys and that's because you're going to be having to replace three graduating seniors from this offensive line I know you did it a year ago and you were part of that group yeah. and you have been gosh shock it kind of stepped up can you just kind of talk about the role that you and Ben have taken on though and mentoring these young people and getting them ready we know um all off season we, we've had the offensive line kind of together lifting and kind of together doing everything uh, and in our off days we've taken them up into the film room and uh broken everything down for them, watched film from last year, um, just getting them assignment ready so they can come out here and, and they weren't just, you know, running around having no idea. But um, and then as well as um, in the weight room, uh, just taking them in and, and doing a lot of uh, set work and a lot of, um, you know, position specific work um, besides your lifting. So. You know, having gone through this last year and, you know, kind of almost the same exact thing, what does it take to bring these five offensive linemen together and get a good group out there? Um, or what I should say, what's the hardest part about it? Just the hardest part about getting everyone together? Uh-huh. Um, just getting used to the different feel you get from guys, especially inside, I think, because um, some of the hardest thing to do is, is passing stuff off and getting the same feel from the right guard or the left guard, and just getting used to going from, um, you know, playing with two different guys last year to playing with two new guys this year. It just takes a while to get, a, get the feel of, of you know, almost a trust and, and know what the person's going to do before they do it, which is, it takes a while, but I think that's the hardest thing is, is just the, the trust across the board of knowing, you know, this guy's going to, gonna you know, zone off with you and, and not free out or stuff like that, which is which is kind of the biggest thing. Well, who's been working at guards next to you this spring so far? Um, so far, the, the three guys that have really worked have been um, Sam Rice, uh, Ben Hughes, and Chris Weeks have kind of rolled in there. Um, kind of a guard and, and I've gotten used to playing with all of them and, and they're all doing a really good job so but um, um, I think they've, they've done well. You know a couple of those guys are pretty tall kind of stereotypical tackles almost is it tough being in that confined space with big bodies next to you? Not really uh, it's not it's I mean I think it's better because the bigger you are the less push people get back on you so you stay on the same level when you're passing zones off zone offs you're passing stuff off so um, I think it makes it easier actually. Uh -huh. Um, you know, you mentioned that a lot of the young guys are developing. Is there anyone who stuck out to you in particular so far this spring? Um, Sam Rice has done a really good job. Um, he, he's done well in one-on-ones, very, been very physical, has taken everything Coach Swan has said and really applied it, um, has been getting his playbook, knows assignments. Um, I think he, he's done really well so far. And the two other guys who are kind of battling for a starting spot, it seems like, Chauncey Briggs, Seaver Myers at the tackle position. What have you seen out of those two? Um, they've done well. I mean, I mean, they've, they've had their days where they've done really well, and they've had their off days, and everyone does. Uh, but overall, I mean, I, I think we're going to be a really good group. I think they've done well. So. Well, when it comes to you in specific, what are your goals for this upcoming season? <sighs> well, as a team, uh, conference championship. That's that's the, the main goal. I mean, that's why I play is, is – so we, you know, the whole team can get to a place. But um, for me personally, um, just continue to, to build off last year, um, less mental mistakes, um, more physical, it's more physical, be a little more physical, uh, more physicality, um, and re the run and pass. So um, those are my goals, though, just to continue to progress from last year. All right, perfect.